My lord, the Emperor smile on you. You must stop them. They are hurting my children. What's happened to your children? My children! My beautiful rat ghouls! The children of all Sith! Those marvelous, precious creatures! The Sith created them, and Darth Malak gave them this beautiful kingdom in which to multiply and grow strong! But now, the Republic is trying to steal Taris from them and destroy them! We must protect them! I'm not about to let the Republic reclaim Taris. Good, good. It's simple then. The cruel Dr. Vernon leads the Republic's experiments to eliminate the Rakuls, destroy his equipment, wipe out his research, kill him. All these colonists. It's sickening, my lord. I'm Dr. Corvus, with Alien Control. I'm here to solve the Cathar problem. What is it you do, Doctor? Corvus. I analyze hostile species, then I break them. The Cathar's strength lies in their spirit. Nine times out of ten, they'll fight to their dying breath. So I've developed a serum that dampens the Cathar's inherent aggression. Less fight, more flight. Could this serum be used on other species? Sadly, no. Even the Bothans, for all their biological similarities, only develop a small rash when exposed to the formula. As of 26 minutes ago, my serum is approved and ready for a trial demonstration. The sight of their strongest warriors reduced to mewling runts ought to demoralize the Cathar nicely. Care to do the honors? What would have to be done? I've prepared several special darts. The serum will kick in moments after it enters the Cathar's bloodstream. After that, I'd recommend waiting until they're good and pathetic before you finish them off. For effect. Please, General, just let me do my job. I'll get my team and we'll secure that site. Your job? You're a scout, Jennings. Had you done your job, we would have known about that enclave before the Jedi overran it. As much as I enjoy a good suicide mission, why don't we leave the rough stuff to a Sith? Isn't the whole point of a soldier to take care of the rough stuff? This situation requires fighters, not fodder. Our scouts spotted a group of Jedi Knights excavating the ruins of their old enclave. Given their numbers, we think they're after something big. Those ruins hold bygone artifacts, ancient texts, holocrons, planetary records. The very things we don't want the Jedi to find. Lord Gravis' orders are clear. Kill the Jedi and recover their findings. <laughs> Easier said than done. What can you tell me about the Jedi Enclave? It's old. That much we do know. Given the correlation between old and important, I imagine this is quite the find for the Republic. Unfortunately, my troops are busy fighting the Cathar. I scarcely have an angry thought to spare for the Jedi, let alone a battalion. The artifacts buried in those ruins could revitalize the Jedi's presence on Taris, or embolden them to build a new enclave. I need you to sack that enclave. I know Lord Gravis would be pleased to hear of your cooperation. I'm not interested in relics. 
Only the chance to kill Jedi. Excellent. I'm in your debt. Expect a tough fight. These Jedi are soldiers as much as researchers. They're brilliant, well-trained, and they protect those ruins to their dying breath. Just kill the lot of them and recover their findings. Lord Gravis doesn't want a single Jedi to survive. Time before Taris is theirs and theirs alone. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jaysa, use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. My pleasure, Master. Most of these dogs are brimming with strength and conviction. I sense hate and a willingness to die for the Republic. Ah, uh, not so fast. There, an entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. They will definitely run if singled out. Lead the assault against the conscripts, Jaysa. Make them flee. Thank you, Master. Men, attack with me! Conscripted scum! We still have numbers! All attack!
My lord, I have updates from the other fronts. Unfortunately, there has been some trouble at the power station. Lieutenant Pierce couldn't find his way past the power station's traps and mines. I'm sorry to report that Ferrer's command center still has power. Failure is not acceptable. I will accept responsibility, my lord. I should have known to suggest VET for the assignment. This means the basic security systems will be operational as you invade. So, you'll be facing Ferrer's elite guard, as well as constant automated turret fire. What's worse, the spaceport strike has also met with failure. Tell me what happened so I can punish whoever is responsible. VET was outmatched trying to hotwire the Republic systems and sabotage the spaceport force field controls. We should have realized that Pierce's familiarity with Republic systems here on Taurus made him the logical choice. I rely on you for military strategy, Captain. This falls on your shoulders. Yes, my lord. I take full responsibility. Now, with the spaceport force field still functioning normally, Ferrer's reinforcements will be able to join him inside. So, your route to the General will be that much more difficult. Bad news always brightens my mood. Hopefully that will be the last of it. There's no time to lose, my lord. Ferrer's command center...